Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the garage. So uh, as you can probably see in the background, not a lot has changed in here. Uh, there is a reason for that, I will briefly tell you about it. Um, just gonna be a short video, just give you an update really. Um, saying what we've got planned going on into the into the new year. So yeah, let me just uh, flip this camera around and I'll talk you through it. Right, okay, so in terms of the car, very little, if anything, has changed with the car. Uh, I've been driving it a little bit, although the weather's been, um, well, it's been awful, so it's not, not been out much. Um, but yeah, the main reason why nothing's happened is I've had a few uh, health issues going on. Uh, they're still ongoing. Uh, they're going to be going ongoing for a little while yet. I'm going in for a sort of a major operation in the next week or so. So um, I'm still going to be out of action, unfortunately, for a, I imagine a couple of months. So you have to bear with me. I will be updating uh, as soon as I start doing anything. But yeah, as you can uh, probably understand, it might be a while before I can get back on my feet. Um, in terms of the car, yeah, as it's been when I have taken out, it's been performing faultlessly. Um, I'm just checking. I've still got a uh, nice bit of coolant in there. Uh, uh, let's check the oil. Let's have a little look at that. It's been sat here for a while, so it should be uh, back on the reading. Okay, so I have dropped a little bit of oil. Uh, it's probably maybe 500 miles, maybe. So I have to top that up. I have taken a screw out of the breather box. And what I'm going to do is because uh, I know Ali tanks can suffer with getting uh, a lot of water vapor build up in the tanks, condensation, things like that, plus blow by. Uh, instead of taking it all apart, what I've done is just taken a screw out. I'm just going to use a little bit of a dipstick, just see if it will pick up anything on the bottom. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but there's absolutely nothing on there. Completely. No, I don't think that's going to focus. There, there is nothing on there. That's completely dry. So that shows how well it all breathes. Uh, so that's good. I'm really happy with that. So I've only probably, maybe 500 miles, I think I've probably done in it. So, uh, yeah. I would expect if there was a major issue, it would be showing up by now. So yeah, I have to put it back together. Right, so uh, yeah, in, in terms of the car, um, it's been driving absolutely faultless. Uh, it's not Mr. B, it's, it's been on point everywhere, well, any time I have taken it out, which is, which is great. But what I do suffer with, as you could probably expect in a front wheel drive uh, little car, is wheel spin. Um, now, 300 and... Is it 324 was it i keep uh, around there it's a lot of power to put down um in the dry it does it just about um in the wet it's just like what's the point um so what i'm actually probably gonna do is take the wastegate off again yeah i know again uh although i should be efficient at that, doing that by now because i've done it so many times uh, but what i'm gonna do is i can go into Take the waistcoat off and I'm going to put some smaller springs in it. Um, now I know that the rating for one bar of springs gives one bar of pressure. So I know, what, hopefully, in theory, the lower springs will also give an accurate pressure. Um, I'm not going to drop it by much. I'm probably going to drop it down to around the 10 PSI, I think. Maybe a little bit less, maybe 8 PSI. Um, around, that, around that area, half a bar, uh, or just over half a bar. So it makes it drivable in sort of second gear. Um, and then all I need to do is up the boost controller, which I haven't actually got set up yet, but um, I will do when I, when I get around to it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna set it up and then I can just turn up with the boost controller, um, get it as high as I can really then afterwards, or as high as I wanna go, um, turn up in third, turn up even more in fourth. So that will probably be one of the steps for the car. That is one of the the next steps to do is put a smaller spring in it just to make it a little bit more drivable um, and just turn up with a boost controller. I also do need to um, set up the speedo properly. So I have just been using GPS. Um, I've got all the ABS set up in there from the original car and I'm hoping to plug into the CAN bus 
um, and then use the canvas readings to be able to give me individual, individual wheel speed. Um, that's the goal. Needs a little bit of research into that because I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna, that's going to work yet. But um, yeah, that is. Those are the next steps with the car um, in terms of drivability, and then a few other little minor bits um, underneath here. So I need to put in um, some just water um, runoffs and things like that, so the water's not going to run down inside uh, in the cowling, down all over the wiring, um, and then just an intake for the cabin air. Um, at the moment, it's just on the circulation, but just be nice to stop all the um, engine smells, basically, just make it a nice uh, car to drive in. So yeah, that's it in terms of the car. Uh, so yeah, that's all good. Uh, now in terms of the garage, that is my next project. Um, is basically start cleaning it through. Now I have started um, with some of the stuff up in the roofing that I had, and especially I've got some old shocks and springs, and well not shocks, sorry, but just springs, old exhaust setup, uh, some more springs, all well, the intake system. Uh, it's amazing what you find. Really, I forgot I even had this. That was probably taken off when the car was uh, two years old. Um, no less than that. Uh, so if you don't know, I've had this car from new. So um, yeah, it's, I've had it some time now. So I've got all of the original parts or most of. Um, I've got a lot of the the old turbo setup that I had on here, um, which I'm going to obviously sell now because it's no good to me. Old in the cooler, uh, original brake calipers. Yeah, so uh, I have started sorting through all the bits and pieces. Um, yeah, just to have a big gold clear out, get rid of the stuff. But obviously, like I say, with uh, my health, uh, it's taking a back seat. Got a few stickers here um, that I'm going to be sticking on on the side of the windows just to. Uh, well, why not, isn't it? If I'm going to make the YouTube videos, I might as well put some stickers on the car to say that's what I've been doing. So, yeah. That is uh, basically what's happening. Not a lot, but obviously there are reasons. So next year, I will be tackling this lot, sorting this garage out. I'll probably make a little bit of a video about it. Um, it's going to have a whole do over, basically, make it usable. Because if, you, if you've seen my videos, you know that I've been working on this tiny little bench area, which obviously is now filled up with stuff. So uh, now I can't do any work even if I wanted to. So yeah, I'm looking to uh, make the space more usable, more practical. So yeah, um, I do have another car and that is gonna be my next project. Um, this one's not going anywhere. Like I said, I've had this one since I was a, since I was a boy now, um, 2005. So yeah, it's not, not going anywhere and obviously with all them, time and effort I've spent on it over the years just be a waste to get rid of it now so that's keeping uh, I'll tell you about the new car well next year you're gonna have to wait on that one um, but a few of you might enjoy that one maybe we'll see and yeah so that that is it for now so uh, yeah obviously not much in terms of progress I just thought we'd give it an update I hope you guys had a good uh, Christmas and enjoy your new year and I will be back with you as soon as I can. Cheers, guys. Take it steady.